Pauline Hanson is one of the most contentious figures in modern Australian politics. The far-right One Nation Party leader has pushed the boundaries of acceptable public discourse with her views on immigration and multiculturalism. Here's a look at her controversial career. Please explain. In her maiden speech upon being elected in 1996, Pauline Hanson attacked the Asian community and called for an end to multiculturalism. I and most Australians want our immigration policy, policy radically reviewed and that of multiculturalism abolished. I believe we are in danger of being swamped by Asians. In 2017, Pauline Hanson wore a burqa to Parliament Question Time as part of a stunt where she called for the religious garments to be banned, citing concerns for national security. Senator Hanson. is not what should belong in this parliament. I am not going to pretend to ignore the stunt that you have tried to pull today by arriving in the chamber dressed in a burqa when we all know that you, you are not an adherent of the Islamic faith. And I would ca caution you and counsel you, Senator Hanson, with respect to be very, very careful of the offence you may do to the religious sensibilities of other Australians. Whilst visiting the Northern Territory to advocate against the closure of Uluru to climbers, Pauline Hanson argued she was Indigenous to the land because she was born in Australia. With you, I'm Indigenous. I was born here. I'm native to the land. She's Indigenous? Yes, I am. Do you know the word indigenous? Yeah, I do. Native to the yeah. land. I was born here. If I, if, where's my land if it's not Australia? Um, England? She also claimed to be a victim of reverse racism during a Senate debate about racial discrimination laws in 2017. There is reverse racism in Australia. You might be surprised that I've had racist comments said to me. In 2020, Senator Hanson said that initiatives to close the social and economic gap between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians were complete rubbish, claiming that Indigenous Australians should blame themselves for the disadvantages they face. Closing the gap is complete rubbish. As far as I'm concerned, it's a joke. The call for recognition is just a feel-good smokescreen that hides the true problems. The biggest problem facing Australian, Aboriginal Australians today is their own lack of commitment and responsibility to helping themselves.